flooding in the southwest, record snowfall in the north, and conditions harsh enough overseas to shut major transportation hubs. This after a summer of even more dangerous waves of heat and water. Tonight, Dan Harris talks with a forecaster who saw it all coming and who has less than promising news for what's coming next. It's hard not to be impressed when you see entire houses being swept away by floodwaters in the west. Part of the same storm that tonight is creating road closures, evacuations, and widespread fear of mudslides. Meanwhile, tonight the madness continues over in Europe, where the snow and freezing temperatures that paralyze major cities is only now starting to relent. There is one person who is happy about all of this, though. I'm extremely pleased that this is very cold, and uh, it's very cold in Europe as well. This rather odd-looking man is Piers Corbyn, who actually predicted this nasty weather, which the British government failed to do. We predicted that this winter in Britain and Europe would be the coldest for 100 years. Corbyn's methods are, to say the least, unorthodox. He forecasts based on the magnetic connection between the sun and the earth. Although many people say his correct forecasts are just a fluke, he remains supremely confident and now says the weather will only get worse and very soon. In the coming period between Christmas and the New Year, as I said, we're expecting blizzards in uh, Europe and eastern parts of England. We're expecting blizzards in the northeast USA. Maybe Corbyn's right, maybe he's not. Either way, we are certainly coming to the end of a year of crazy and often lethal weather, most notably that unprecedented heat wave over in Russia and that huge and lethal episode of flooding in Pakistan. And of course, we should say that Piers Corbin, that guy who claimed to have predicted Europe's current weather woes, he too is a climate skeptic. I know there are certain people in the global warming cult, and that's what it is, it's a religious cult. They believe that everything that happens is caused by global warming. Look, this is sheer madness. Corbin is now predicting a mini ice age in the coming years. However, the vast, vast majority of climate scientists disagree and say if you like this year's extreme and extremely deadly weather, you'll likely get much more if the world doesn't act very quickly. For Nightline, this is Dan Harris in New York.